Hi guys, welcome to another beer review. It's been uh, quite a tedious job trying to record this one with uh, technical problems thanks to this phone. So I apologise if I'm not firing on all cylinders for this one. But uh, yeah, we've got a collaboration brew today and it's a craft can as well. And we've got a can of the Heiser Scheisser Beiser, which is a collaboration with uh, Von Freude from Hamburg who I've reviewed quite a few of their beers and Heavy Industry coming out of Henlon, Wales. So I'll quickly read you the spiel about this one then. So Musical Inspirations, Hot Pants, I'm Coming by Bobby Bird. We'll have to give that a listen. And uh, yeah, Ringmeister Thirsty Sam from Thirsty Cambridge. Brought together the creative talents of heavy industry from Wales and von Freude of Germany to create this Heiser Scheisser Weiser. Love that name already. Dark Munich roasted barley, chocolate and wheat malts. Mix it up with smoked chipotle and unusually restrained hops. Holy moly, heavy industry brewing. So I'm guessing it was brewed at heavy industry. And uh, yeah, unfiltered and Unfined beer contains live yeast, store upright and pour carefully. So uh, yeah, really nice and simple can this. It's a basic can with a sort of a see-through sticker put on there. Uh, the writing is a little bit hard to read, but then again, my eyes are terrible. But uh, yeah, it's got like sort of like an industrial look to it. And uh, yeah, very familiar with the beers of Von Freude and I've heard a lot of good things actually about heavy industry from some of my my UK friends here on Beertube but I've never managed to get one of their beers and of course Thirsty Cambridge um, are the guys who stock a lot of the Von Freud beers back in the UK I think they're like their main British distribution and uh, yeah they've been having a lot of um, press recently with the beer garden opening which looks absolutely fantastic and I think they are primarily known, and I apologise to Sam and anybody else involved in Thirsty Cambridge, but I think they're primarily known for being a wine stockist or something along those lines. <coughs> it's been quite a while, I do apologise, but if you want to find out more about Von Freude and uh, Thirsty Cambridge, then I do mention them in my previous reviews. So, uh, yeah, Hot Shit Wheat, a wheat stout with chilly sounds fantastic even if it is approaching 10 o'clock in the evening so yeah let's uh, give it a try i've had a good run of chili beers actually oh it's not too live no that's nice so far using my beer moth snifter glass i've been wanting to use this for a stout for well i've only had it here in germany for about a week i've been recording this because it was kindly brought over by my mother when she was visiting but uh, yeah I always uh, have stouts in this when I'm uh, back at the UK but look at that lovely stuff you'd think with it coming towards July and I'm a hot sticky mess that stouts would be the uh, the last style of beer that I want to try but I find that a lot of beers work no matter what time of the year you drink them of course, you know, this weather's best suited for stuff like Heller's beers, pale ales, maybe some sours, that sort of thing. But, uh, yeah, I wanted to uh, have a stout. And, uh, yeah, look at that. Looks fantastic in the glass. So, beer in a glass then. And I don't think that's completely jet black. Um, but then again, this light is a bit deceiving at times. When I hold it up to the light, you do get... Very dark ruby, almost mahogany hues coming in through there. But yeah, it's you're not seeing through that at all. Looks very rich and indulgent. And beer poured with about one finger's worth of a slightly uh, mocha coloured head. Uh, looks a bit fluffy at the same time. If you look at the top of it, it almost looks like a, a cake, almost. Very weird. But um, yeah, lovely combination of really tight, compact bubbles and then some bigger ones. But uh, yeah, it leaves some really nice lace in. Very pretty beer. Very, very pretty. <coughs> so then, excuse me. Let's give this a sniff. I don't know what hops are in this one. 
by the way. Um, I wouldn't imagine there's any sort of like American or New Zealand type hops. But anyway, let's give it a sniff. Mm, it smells like coffee. And you get the chili on the back end, sort of like the, the chili oils, that sort of smell when you're like frying them off, almost. But yeah, really nice, rich, dark cake sort of aroma. Lovely bit of chocolate. It sort of reminds me of like um, a chocolate cake that's slightly singed on the edges, which is still really nice to eat, but it's got that sort of like char to it. But yeah, there's like that sweetness which I'm attributing to that chilli as well. But it's not like, whoa. Yeah, it's not stinging your nostrils or making your eyes water or anything like that. It, it seems like it's really nicely incorporated in terms of the uh, aroma. Very nicely blended, I should say. But yeah, that just smells like a really damn good stout in general. Not really getting any wheaty aspects of the of the uh, the beer, to be honest. But maybe that'll just help build a, a bit of a body. It smells absolutely wonderful. I haven't had a stout for ages, so uh, looking forward to checking into this one. Checking, tucking into this one. Cheers, guys. Definitely picked up that chilli, but it's not really harsh. It does actually upset that build a little bit more on the back end. You get that sort of like sweet, like paprika, pepperiness coming from it, as opposed to like a really strong heat. Yeah, it's got that sort of like earthiness that you get from a chili, especially on the intake when it first goes into your mouth. And again, it's sort of got that like, um, that slight chili oil aspect to it on the flavour. Carbonation is prickly, so it's working well with that chili character. Doesn't end too bitter or too harsh, but you can tell that there is chili in there. But again, it just seems to be really nicely blended, just like in the aroma. So, I'm imagining there's uh, some little bits and bobs in the bottom of this can, so we shall give it a swirl and pour it in and see if it changes. Oh, look at that. And I don't know if you can see that, but the colour of the head has changed on the top. I'm just going to let that do its thing for a little second. I've not had too many beers that have done that, to be honest, when it's all built in. Built in? See, I can't even get my, my words out properly. Anyway, that just seems to be more shallow than anything else now. But it's, it's going into the bit. I think I shake them up a bit too much. I'll see what happens when I put the rest of that in later. But um, yeah, beer still looks exactly the same, bar the uh, changing of the head. <laughs> Excuse me. Now that I'm talking, that chili is coming back a little bit. It's very warming here as well but not uncomfortable not aggressive it's not prickly or anything like that it's sort of like when you get that slight alcohol warmth where it's not really like alcohol heat and it's not like ah, or anything like that but you, it's got that similar sort of sensation and it's almost like a, a chili chocolate like a really dark chocolate with chili flakes in a really interesting beer so far. Get a bit more of an earthy hop character now that everything else is in there. I'd imagine something like Fuggles or East Kent Goldings would have been used in this one. Could be completely off the mark with that. But it, again, they said it was reserved in its hoppiness and that's very true. But it's got this sort of like woodiness to it, like wood chips. Burnt sugar. 
char on a chocolate cake, that sort of vibe. Not really a milk chocolate, it's purely a dark chocolate. And again, it, it is sort of like chili chocolate, like a bar of really high quality, dark, like 80% dark chocolate with chili in. But then again, you get no sight. That sort of like sweet pepper, you know, like a nice red pepper or something like that. That sweet yet earthiness coming from it. Surprisingly, the mouth isn't left too oily or sticky or anything like that. Body is higher end of medium, so it's not too heavy on the gut. Uh, I'm not really detecting the, the wheat aspect of this beer to be honest which could be a good thing because i'm not the biggest fan of wheat beers but this to me tastes more like a, a nice chili stout yeah it's got those warming sensations so you know come autumn or winter time you wanted a winter warmer that it's going to warm you up not through alcohol but through the chili and you can session it then this is a beer for you i'm not too sure if i would have a can now and then age it till christmas because i think some flavors would die down but yeah it's a very intriguing beer indeed an intriguing take on the the stout style i think the only thing for me that tells you that there's wheat in there like wheat malt is it's Settling a bit heavy on the gut, like wheat beers tend to do with me. But it's not unwelcomed or anything like that. It's not uncomfortable. It's just a really nice, and I like it when you get the flavour and the warmth of the chilli, but it's blended so nicely where there's no harshness. And I think everyone involved has done a great job with this beer. <coughs> Excuse me. Nice burps too, very chocolatey burps, very odd. But uh, yeah, I'd imagine this would be somewhat easily available back in the UK, considering that it's a, a Welsh-German collaboration. Um, and if you're in Cambridge, check out Thirsty Cambridge, because uh, you can get your hands on some really interesting German beers from Von Freude, a very underrated brewery, I'd say, here in Germany. Um, every beer that I've had from them has been a good one. Uh, their Café Dinho, or Dinho, I'm not sure how it was properly announced, was a really nice coffee hellers beer. So they're doing some really intriguing beers, and uh, this is definitely one of them. So, uh, yeah, out of 10, I'm going to give this one an 8 out of 10. Very solid indeed. Glad that I gave it a try, and glad that I got another beer from Von Freude reviewed on the channel. <laughs> So if you have tried this beer, as always, let me know your thoughts and opinions down below. What's some of your favourite chilli stouts, that sort of thing. Favourite collaboration beers. You could tell me what your favourite colour is. I don't care. Hit me up in the comments. Uh, check out Von Freude. Check out Heavy Industry. Keep saying, I keep thinking it's Lost Industry, but I think that's a completely different thing. Uh, check out Heavy Industry. Check out Thirsty Cambridge. Check out my Von Freude playlist down below, and uh, yeah, I hope you'll join me next time for another beer review. It's another long one, I apologise about that, but uh, you know what they say about length anyway. I'm not going to go into that. See you later.